Hello everyone, Fabson Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We're back for another quick tutorial. And this, for me, is a bit of a revelation, actually. Now, I was going to look into headland management as part of the follow-on series from my vehicle control add-on tutorial. Um, and I was getting my head around uh, headland management, and there's lots and lots of detail to it. But, thanks to Dazed, Dazed Modding, uh, who you may know responsible for the seed potato pack and a very nice JCB mod in the mod hub, so definitely go and check those out. He uh, spent a bit of time with myself and Argzy the other day showing us how you can use headland management to, in essence, use GPS for your field edges. This is pretty cool. So what we're going to do today, we're going to look at headland management, but very specifically this part of it, because there's so much headland management probably will come over in a few tutorials. Uh, and there's a few things that it does in tandem with uh, VCS and with guidance steering by Wopster. But this is a bit of a standalone piece and one I think a lot of you are going to be interested in. If you're into your GPS and if you're into some of your automation of your stuff, this is great. Uh, so let's jump in a tractor and let's have a look at it. So we're in the tractor. Uh, I have chosen Edgewater for the very specific reason that the field edges are crazy. They're probably the wackiest of probably any map in FS22. So a perfect way to demonstrate how this works. So let's run over. I've got a field just over here. I believe here it is. Like I said, Edgewater, a brilliant map. I mean, look at the field shapes. Uh, and you couldn't have asked for a better uh, way of demoing this. So we're going to go to field 50 here. Here we are. And what you need to do, first and foremost, unfold your implement. Like so. There we go. And lower it down. This is an 8 meter implement. And remember that. That's important. And what you want to do is you want to find a field edge. Um, in fact, we'll go along... So even if it's a, a, a wildly shaped field, getting a straight edge is kind of helpful to get you started. doesn't need to be a long straight edge, but just get yourself into position. So there we go. We're sitting along that straight edge. Now, what you want to do is go into headland management, which is shift, control, and X. Now, when you get into the menu, there are a lot of things in here, and we will go over these in a different tutorial. But for now, specifically today, we are looking at the contour guide settings here so first and foremost we're going to enable contour guide now there are a couple of options here on one lane only any lane or off so we're going to leave it on one lane only here okay now the side of the field edge is which side the field edge is to you in the tractor so for example here determines on which side the field border is to be followed so uh, for my purposes as you can see maybe just behind there in fact let's come out of it a second that is us field border is on the right so let's go back in uh, we're going to follow the field boundary but the other option you've got here is processed area so for example if you've plowed half a field and you want to go back in and do a border on it you could do that um, but today we're going to leave it on field boundary we're going to leave enable front sensor switched on and distance to field edge now, maintain current distance basically will maintain the current distance from where you are parked. Now, you can leave it on that if you want to, if you've set yourself up aligned nicely to the edge of the field. I prefer to go with manual setting. Now, this is where it gets a little bit important you need to remember. We have an 8 meter implement here. Now, uh, headland management measures the position of the tractor, not the implement. So for the edge of the field here, the tractor would be positioned four meters in. If you want the edge of the implement to run right along the edge of the field, the tractor would be four meters into the field, so halfway. So what we'll do, we'll put it on four meters. Now, uh, you can, if you want to, put it, say, three and a half meters, so you've got a bit of an overlap on the edge of the field. I'm not going to do that here because these telegraph poles are incredibly close to the field. Uh, so I'm going to put four in there. Now, key thing to remember here, you have to hit the enter button for that to register. Um, and you can't hit escape when you leave this menu. If you hit escape, it will cancel these settings. So you want to hit the OK button. Now, once you come out of the menu, there's nothing visual to show you that you've managed to set anything up here. So let me just move this around so you can see it. You can see under the speedometer there, um, there's a little grey disc with the word off in it. We need to turn on headland management now to turn on headland management it is shift 
Alt and X and you'll see that that has turned to F with an arrow to the right. So that is in field mode and the arrow to the right tells us that our edge is on the right. Now if I spin around to the front here you can barely see it against the white but there is a sensor on the front there that looks forward and looks off to the right um, which will be measuring the distance to the edge of the field the whole time. So we can just pull forward now so just hitting the accelerator so you could put this on cruise control if you wanted um, or you could just pull forward in the tractor and set yourself off running. So we're sitting at 11 miles an hour here. Um, now, it's see a slight adjustment there. This will run quite happily now. I'm not touching anything other than uh, the accelerator here. I'm not going to do any steering or anything like that. We're going to get to the edge of the field. Now, you'll see why I set it at 4 metres to avoid all those telegraph poles now. You'll see the issue with that, and this is why you probably want to consider an overlap at some point, is when I get to this turn here, and again, this is Headland Management working this out all by itself, it's missing just some of the edges of the field on the turn. So um, you might want to adjust it slightly, and again here, it's going the other way, and it's overlapping a little bit over the edge. So there is a little bit of, um, I don't know, trial and error here to work out how to use it. I think the more you would use it, the easier it would get. But this is sensing the field edge all of the time automatically. How cool is that? So we'll go around, we'll do a full headland, and then I'll show you how to move it in and do a second headland or a third headland. And this becomes very helpful um, if you start to use tools like Proceed, where you're setting out tram lines in your field and how they're going to work, because you can accurately calculate and measure where those tram lines are going to be in your field, particularly on headlands. Um, so there you go, there's a big chunk we've missed there, and I don't think even with a, with a big offset there, or a, a big overlap, you would be able to rescue that. And sometimes when map makers are making their map, they will encroach on the field or move further out from the field. So um, you, it's a bit of trial and error there for sure. But this, in essence, is, is measuring the very border of the map that has been set out when the map makers made the map. So, there we go. We will run down to the bottom here, get along the straight edge here, and then turn back into where we started. And then we'll go back into Headland Management again, and we'll reset our numbers so that we can do the second pass. Again, you can see the slight lack of overlap on the corner but uh, again with a bit of trial and error and figure like i said the fence and the telegraph pole so close to the field in this one um there is no overlap so you could you could rectify that if you wanted or you could just go around and tidy things up at the end uh, dazed actually said to me that he doesn't do the outer headland using this he starts one headland in does all of those using headland management and then just drives the external the final one and the outside one um, himself manually but let's move in now to do our second field now remember our implement is eight meters wide but for headland management purposes it looks at the center line so it's looking four meters in from the edge of the field so what we want to do when we go back into the menu here when we switch our distance we're going to be the four meters that we've already got plus the width of the implement so we want to be moving over another eight meters which will make it 12 meters in total so if you follow that again that's the width of your implement the eight meters plus another four which will center the tractor in the middle of the second headland so if i roll forward now and you know what i've done a brilliant example of not hitting the enter button i'm going to leave that in because it's important you remember that so 12 and then i hit the okay button it doesn't register this. You've got to hit enter first and then OK. And you can see our little sensor line has moved and is a lot longer now. And the tractor is, again, I'm just pressing the accelerator here. The tractor is moving into the next lane. And look at that. Perfect. Eight metres into the field because you've measured it. No trial and error here. You've got that measured down to perfection. 
So, we'll uh, roll around here. We'll just let you see this all the way around. And again, now, because this is the same as the first one, those issues you had on the very border, missing the edges of the field, you won't get here. You'll get absolutely pristine lines on your second pass because it's measured it perfectly. So, as you can see there, doing a great job. And we'll go all the way around with this until we're done. And there we go. We're just rolling around now to the start again of our second headland and we are done so I'm going to stick the brakes on here like so and we're going to switch off headland management so that is again shift alt and x to turn it off we're going to raise our implement and this is the great thing now you can just switch into your GPS of choice so whether it's headland management VCA or enhanced vehicle you just roll around to the end here, get things lined up. There we go. Lower our implement down, and away we go. Perfect headlands. Ready set up for some GPS for you. There you go, it's as simple as that. Have a play around with it. Let me know what you think. Just a nice little tool to have in the armory alongside everything else. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a little bit more on headland management, getting my head around it, understanding it properly before I give you uh, a proper tutorial on it. But I just thought that was so cool uh, and kind of independent to everything else with the headland management that uh, I thought you might like to see it straight away. So there you go. Right. From me, the farm sub guy, thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.